I will play it whole entire song in a slow tempo. But this time, I'm not gonna put the ornament and I will keep holding all the notes so that you can see it how I play it. One, two, three, four. This prelude is key of C. This prelude is in key of C. There's no sharps and no flats. And it's also written for organs, not for piano. This is meant to be played in organ. And most of the notes are supposed to be held. So when you play the song, you have to be careful to hold it rather than just letting go of the notes. Organ sound is always sustained rather than is detached more. So I will use a pedal to make it sustain the sound. Now, if you're looking at the first line, left hand is literally on C. So just keep holding C's until the whole entire line. And right hand built above the C. So it starts with C chord if you're looking at the first measure. C, E, G. This is a C chord and you have B flat, which is C seventh chord. So literally, you're just breaking up and play at C seventh chord. So remember, C, E, G, B flat is the first measure. So you play at C. Second measure is on this note. What is it? Let's see. F, A, C. If we move the C up here, do you see what it is? Yes, F chord. Built it on F. F, A, C. Skip, skip, skip. But we move the C down here to make it easy. Do you remember the inversions that we learned in lesson 4? We just play it. This is what it is for the second measure. And third measure is what is the note? G, B, D. So what is the chord? G chord. See it? But breaking up. And then adding F, which is a seventh note. What does it mean by seventh? From G to you built add another chord. That's the seventh chord. So first line, the first measure is a C chord, C seventh chord. And second measure is F chord. Breaking up and play it. And third 
third major is G chord. If I keep holding it, you can see it. So basically, it moves within the chord. Now, if we move it on to the second line, let's see. Right hand plays the chord at this time, and left hand plays the broken chord. Let's see what it is on the left hand. C chord again. You see it? And they play it all the C. C, E, G, C. That's all you have. C, E, G, E, C. And another C, E. And right hand is C chord. But what is the inversion? That's the root. And if we move top note to bottom here, that's the second inversion, actually. Why? Root, first inversion, second inversion. That's how it looks like. You see it? The same note. So this is the second inversion. And then the next measure, measure five. This is, now let's see what it is. That's D major chord. Why? That's D minor and then going up half step up is major. We're gonna talk about that one later. If you didn't learn in lesson, and I will tell you later on, but this is D chord. So from C to D going up, and then coming back to, what is it? G chord. And what is the chord? Now let's find it out. B, E, G. So let's make it, move it down, this B up to here, and make it skip, skip, skip to find it out what kind of chord that is. Then what is it? E chord, E minor chord. So G to an E minor chord and going to measure now in the left hand you will see something like this and then with the slash on it that means you play from the G to one step down and coming back again but it has a sharp so that means right before the note you have to put the sharp so play it like this in organ in baroque time they added this kind of ornament a lot because the organ sound is so flat and heavy. And to make the sound fancy, they added this little ornament. Now, here, when you practice first time, just, just play it. G. Don't add this one from the beginning. Just practice as it is. And when you can play it well, then add it left hand, this little ornament. But you have to practice first, left hand by itself, coming back right away. And then make it fast, as fast as possible. So drop the thumb a little stronger. I hit it actually with this side rather than the fingertip here. That's fastest way. Do you see it? So I use this whole entire section to make it fast and then make sure that your wrist is not too high. Make it a little low. That way you can play it easier. If you have higher wrist, it's so hard to play it well. So that's the tip to play it, this ornament. That's how you're going to play. But for now, I will just play it simple G. a C chord. So we we'll start with the E, G, C, E, C, G, G, E. So basically play within the C, E, G. It's different
difference is when you play a C E G, just but the note is only C E G, consists of C E G since it's a C chord. And the next measure, if you're looking at starting with F sharp on the right hand, so F sharp, A C F, what is it going to be? Now let's find it out. That's a skip skip, but the F sharp is far, so let's move this F sharp to here. So this is actually F diminished chord, F sharp diminished chord. We will learn that one later, but this is the chord. So we just keep playing F sharp, A, C, F sharp, C, A, A, F sharp. That's all you have. Once we decide what kind of chord it is, just keep using the same note over and over again. Let's play that measure one more time. F sharp, A, C, F sharp, C, A, A, F sharp. And the next note is on the right hand, B, D, G. So what is the chord? If we move this G down, we know it. G, right? Left hand, G, G, B, B. So definitely it's G chord. G, G, B, D, B, G. And right hand, same as the bottom note. So you just keep playing the same note. And left hand is F. Because it's G seventh chord, which is coming from that one. So F, D. But this is important. D. But don't play with finger number two. Instead, play with finger number four. That's the key. Very important. If you end up with the two, then you cannot play the next line because there's no fingers anymore. Because we have to go up. So what we're gonna do? Play with the finger number four and. The next line, right hand is a C chord, so C, E, G, and right hand is also a C chord. C, E, G, C, G, B, B flat, G. That's what you play in any way, the C chord, within the C chord. You have to be careful. This is one of the confusing part because your right hand and left hand plays at the same time. So, C. remember which finger to use. 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2. So use the 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2. That's the fastest way to remember. 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, and the 3 going up again. Don't go until the G, but stop on 2 and go up and skip and going up again. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So remember 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the hardest part. Remember from A. 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2. 3, skip. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's going to be the note. So remember by the fingering rather than the notes. That's the fastest way to play it without mistake. It will be like this. And left hand is an F, and then after you play an F, you have to keep holding it. And then coming to 5 2 on C and G, and left hand shifted to two, finger number 3 with stepping up note. If you play it with 4, then your finger will be short. So. Right hand and left hand G. Going to C. And the very last measure, you can play it finger number 5, 5, and 5 again, or 1, 2, and 5. It's up to you. Some people like it this one better, some people like it 2 and 5. It really up to you. So play it around and see. Which one you prefer but 
decide once you decide you have to use the same finger over and over again you shouldn't change every time if you really want to play it well then practice the separate hands first practice right hand and left hand by itself and then put it both hands together but go by line by line and as you play it you have to remember what kind of chord is used and also when you practice keep holding hold the note that you play so that you know it, which note you play that's the easiest way to remember the notes best